Uh, 11, one step number 11, we call easy. It's one motion. Off both feet, jump, front kick, kill. That's it, hence why we call it easy. So from here, number 11, off both feet. Don't pick up the knee, just jump, flat foot. Here, right front kick, okay? So against my opponent, yep. and unfortunately because of the jumping, there's no way to do this slow, okay? So I'm going to jump, and kick, up, up, okay, from the other side, kick, up, up, number 11, easy. One step number 12 is called just as easy. Just like how number 11 is easy, number 12 is just as easy because it's one motion. What it is is a jump roundhouse kick from the right leg. So when I do it, I'm just gonna pick up my left knee. As my left knee comes up, I'm going to hop, and execute a right roundhouse kick. So from my Jumbi stance, number 12, just as easy, uh, jump roundhouse, okay? So when I do it against my opponent, yeah. and unfortunately, there's no way to do this really slowly, so we're just gonna go right into full speed. So I'm going to bring my left knee up, jump kick my right foot. Uh, uh, okay, from the other side. Yeah. Again, just bring the left knee up. As soon as my left knee is up, I jump and kick with my right foot, okay? So number 12, we call it just as easy. Moving on to one step number 13. Number 13, we call kick to two. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a front kick with my right foot and land to the side and execute the same motion from one step number two. So I'm here, right front kick, my foot goes towards the inside of my opponent, as my hands come to my side, left hand block while right hand punches simultaneously. So again, right kick, block with the left, punch with the right. So against my opponent, yeah. uh, one, kick to the face, land on the inside as my hands come to my shoulder. Left hand's gonna block while right hand punches simultaneously, boom and that's the motion, okay? So from here, at full speed, one, uh, okay? Kick, block and punch, kick to number two. So from the other side, kick, uh, here, right foot, kick to the face, to the out, or to the inside of my opponent, left hand blocks while right hand punches, boom, okay? So from here, at full speed, kick, uh, Okay, one step number 13, kick to number two. Kick, block and punch. Okay, one step number 14, we call arm up the back because you're gonna be dragging your opponent's arm up their back. Now, the trick with 14 is knowing your footwork. So before I even show you what I'm gonna do with my hands, I'm gonna show you what I do with my feet. When my opponent comes at me, I'm gonna to step towards them, but with a slight outside angle. My right foot is then gonna step on the, ins or on the outside angle, I'm going to turn to face them, and then my left foot's gonna move behind them. Okay, so one more time. Before I even show you the handwork, let's watch the footwork. Step, step, behind. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you with uh, Coach Frank. Again, this is all just the footwork for number 14, arm up the back, okay? So, if he steps and he punches, okay? Again, no hands right now. One, right foot on the outside of his foot, left foot comes behind. Then I'm at, at the point where my chest is facing Coach Frank's back. Okay, thank you sir. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, okay? Adding the hand work in. So when my left foot steps, my left does a high knife hand block to the punch. Right hand punches the face. My right hand is gonna come under and establish a two-on-one grip of, of the opponent's wrist. My right foot steps behind, my left foot goes behind the opponent, let go with my right hand to do a knife hand strike while holding the left hand up their back, okay? So one more time, explaining it through. Left foot, left high knife hand, block to the punch. Punch him with your right hand. Right hand comes under, establishes two-on-one control. 
right foot steps behind their front leg. My left hand, or my left foot steps behind their body, pulls the arm up the back, right knife hand strike to the neck. Okay? So, when I do this with Coach Frank, okay? So, and again, just like all the previous one steps, we'll do uh, two times this way, and then two times this way. Okay? So, he steps back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From here, when I start, my left hand and my left foot. Right hand. From here, my right hand is going to go under and establish two-on-one control. Okay? Two-on-one control just means two hands on one of theirs. From here, my right foot is going to step right behind Coach Frank's front leg. My left foot steps behind, and I drag the arm up the back. Okay? If I do this hard enough, it's actually going to start applying a shoulder crank to uh, Coach Frank's shoulder. In with a knife hand strike to the neck. Okay? So one time at regular speed, then we'll switch sides and do it. Okay, I'm here. Oh. One, two, two on one. Step, step, knife hand strike. From the other side. Yep. Oh. Left foot, left hand, high knife hand to the, ball, uh, to the punch. Right, punch to the face. Establish two on one control. My right hand comes under and grabs. My right foot steps behind his front leg. My left foot steps behind him. I pull his arm up the back and establish the shoulder crank. Let go with the right hand, right knife hand strike, key up. At a regular pace now. Yep. Uh. Uh. One step number 14, shoulder crank or arm up the back depending on who you talk to. Okay, now we're on to one step number 15. 15 is the midway point of the 30 that is required to test for black belt. Okay, so number 15 is called first takedown because it is the first one where we'll, we'll take the opponent all the way down to the ground. Okay, so how it's going to start is the same hand motion as number five, but I'm going to step my left foot instead of my right foot like on number five. So I'm here, my hands come to my side, my left foot steps, my left hand grabs the wrist, my right hand does an inside chop. My right hand then goes over their head and grabs the shoulder. I step behind the opponent's front leg with my right foot, and then I'm going to pull my right foot back causing a sweep while pushing my right hand down to the mat. From here, I'm going to finish with the punch. Now, which hand does the finish is up to you. Everyone has a different feeling. As Once you take them down, as long as you finish with the punch with the left or a punch with the right or two punches, that's all that matters. Make sure you finish the opponent once they're down. Don't take down and then stop. Okay, so again, from here, left foot, left hand grabs, right hand chops. One, my right hand then, after the upside down chop comes in, grabs the opposite shoulder. Two, my right foot steps behind, sweeps back while my right hand pushes down. Okay, partner, when you're falling, make sure you break fall. From here, quick punch, key up. Okay, so that is one step number 15. We'll do it slow. Now pulling in Coach Frank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So again, start it like number five. My hand comes to the side, timeout ref. Left foot, left hand, right hand. One. Right hand goes over his head, grabs the opposite shoulder. My right foot steps behind, and then again, unfortunately, there's no way to do a slow takedown, so we're just going to go for it. Right foot kicks back, right hand pushes down. My, uh, my opponent goes down, from here, quick finish with the key up. Okay, so from here, at a little bit more of a normal pace. Yep. Are you good? Yeah. Okay, ready? Uh, one, two, three, uh, and down. Now we'll do it from the other side so that you guys can see it. Okay, so again, first time is going to go slow with uh, me explaining it. He steps. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hands come to my side. Left foot step. Left hand grab. Right hand strike in one motion. One. My right hand then goes over his head. Grabs onto the opposite shoulder. From here, my right foot goes behind. And again, can't go slow. Kick back. Push down. Down goes the coach. In with the strike. Okay. So from here... At yep. a regular pace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
always help your partner up. Okay? One step number 15, first takedown. 